you should not bother about the venue. What I was just telling my chairman was that converts are made in two ways. You do the other call, some will come immediately and they get converted right there. You do the other call, some will not may not answer the other call right there, but the seed already sown will germinate in them. And you hear them giving testimony that the day I gave my life to Christ was the message I heard when APS came to and my land and that will be our testimony in jesus name from my lord bishop he has said i should welcome you to undopa land he said why he could not be here right now today the primate of all nigeria were here in undopa land to dedicate our new bishop's court the chancel of the cathedral and the SS Mary and Paul Northway and Primary School that belong to the Mondas Union and the Women's Guild of this diocese. And uh, because of the rigorous exercise today, the governor was there also. And uh, after that time, they followed the primary to where they didn't. Uh, disclosed to us and he has said that I should come and welcome you on his behalf he also said that you should feel at home the change of venue should not uh, be a problem because this town that you see are mine is of uh, so many quarters and this place happened to be the center we have Abahumweku, Amaigen, this is my part of Amai, the Sikaguma, and uh, Umosere, Umubu, they are all Amai. And so, you may think that people are not coming, then you will hear testimonies from this place. Yeah. He has said also that, that he, though he is not here physically, spiritually is with you and that whatever is done here whatever you god has sent you to come and do in my hair whatever message that god has for our mind by your coming to am i this time around that the good lord that has sent you here will reward every one of you in jesus name yeah. on that note We want to say that this arena, this crusade, time, am I open for Christ's crusade is declared open in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, sir. A clap offering to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir. Without wasting time, we want to call on National Choir to give us short music as the first speaker will be preparing to come.
for us and the, and the, what is going to take is 
what is repentance and the categories of persons who need repentance. We want to call on our brother, Evangelist F. Onorede, to come to the podium to digest this. The black offering, even as it comes. Hallelujah. Somebody wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Let us pray. Horse of war, The portion I want to deliberate upon is just the introduction. What is repentance? And what are the categories of people to repent? What is repentance? Someone should read for me the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse number 2. With microphone, please, if they want to read, Matthew. get the microphone. Matthew chapter 3, verse 2. Matthew chapter 3, 
Verse 2. Verse 2. I'm saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us when you take it from verse number 1. The words that are learned John the Baptist. John the Baptist was in the wilderness preaching. Brethren, when many people came to this field, when they consider the location of this school, it appears that we are in the wilderness. I really were discouraged. But I am repeating the same message of our vicar. That says, let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled out of the location. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. John the Baptist was preaching in the wilderness. Yes, what did he say? Read that, please. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Esaias, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Hallelujah. Amen. So John the Baptist was preaching in the wilderness saying, Repent ye. Repent ye. Repent ye. Repent ye. So John the Baptist gives us the introduction to the topic. For the kingdom of God is at hand. What is repentant? In the secular law, when you go to the English dictionary, the word repentant simply means a a change of behavior, a change of attitude. When President Muhammad Buhari came aboard, he launched a project. Change begin with me. Before Buhari came, he knew there was a lot of corruption in the land. Anybody who gets a political office sees it as an opportunity to have a share of the national office. First, Buhari came to launch a new project. APC Train. Oh, she went for party where she changed the question. Buhari has come to preach a message of change to Nigerians. Buhari be an economic background. She felt the Kichiswari. Hallelujah. Amen. John the Baptist preaches a similar message of change. Repent for the kingdom of God was at hand. John the Baptist discovered. John, I know that show. God created man for a purpose. The purpose of our creation is for us to 
to worship the Lord and hold him to the fire of faith. God created us to worship Him. To honor Him. To reverence Him. To honor Him. To reverence Him. That is why God has the book of Revelation. Every father has an honor. If I be your father, where is my honor? First, even in the days of John the Baptist, men were not giving honor to God. John the Baptist in the morning and doing good job. And John the Baptist told them to repent. So John the Baptist in our churches. In our days, God is it Today in this community, we know God like it. Everybody in this community knows He's our Creator. When you ask a little baby, who is your Creator? When you ask a little baby, who is your Creator? Who is your Creator? Even the little one that cannot talk with points and the air. But acknowledge him as your creator. How do you relate with him? Instead of relating with him as your creator, instead of giving honor to him as your father and creator, many have turned away from him. What is repentance? What is repentance? Repentance is a deeply seated and thorough turning from self to God. A thorough turning from self to God. I who has turned away from my God? I who thought that or I who have been doing everything in my own will. Walking in my own way. If I be born and my lack of all, what the will of the Lord be created for? Kukuna onye kene nekuni. It come to a point. Oh, 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 the Bible tells us from the book of Luke that there was a boy who had a very wealthy father. And this boy purported in his heart that if the father shared the wealth and gave him his portion, it will be better for him. He will be able to make effective use of, it, of his own portion. He did not need the father. He can stand on his own set and prayer. And he will make it. The Bible tells us that that prodigal son broke loose from the father. And he went into a far country. Then I am here to tell you, you people of Amma, you cannot succeed when you separate yourself from your maker. So repentance means for you to turn and go back to your God. Turning and going back to your God, your maker. But you have to do 
Odochuku. Jesus as the Son of God. Please read for me Romans chapter 5, verse number 17 through 19. Romans chapter 5. Romans 5, 17. Verse 17. For if, for if by one by one man's offense death. By the offense of woman, she said I come from Baro. Death came to this world. Yes. Death reigned by one. Yes. Much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sin, death came to this world by this offense. By because of the offense of woman Adam. Adam So abundant life and the gift of by the work of righteousness of one man Jesus Christ. Repentance leads you turning away from your own life and embracing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You cannot fight your battles. That ring you put in your hands. What you that the ring has the power to save you? That ring cannot help you. You can cast away that ring and embrace Jesus Christ. We give you salvation. But sinners to repentance. Only the Lord Jesus has come because of sinners. So that they can uh, obtain repentance. Who is a sinner? I am here to tell you that every sinner needs repentance. And who is a sinner? The number one sinner is a man or the woman who refuse to believe Jesus. Anyone who refuse to accept the Lord Jesus. Anyone who has not accepted Jesus Christ is a sinner. The number one person who needs repentance is the sinner. There are various categories of sin. Jesus did not come because of the righteous. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Everyone in this community has seen and fallen short of the glory of God. That is, that is why this crusade, this evangelical crusade has come to this country. So that everybody in this place will repent. When you come to the Lord Jesus, he shall be well with you. I know in those days, okay, the government that we let in the land where we were born was simply Jerotocracy. A system of government where the elders rule. Okay, But today, what we see is democracy. A system of government where the young boys rule. Young boys without experience want to rule the elders. No more blessings upon the land. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he shall be well with you. Conclusively, the Acts of Apostle chapter 17, verse 30. And I drop the microphone. Acts 17, 30. Acts chapter 17. 17, 30. 17, verse 30. And the times and the times of this ignorance. In the time of ignorance, God winked 
had had repent. God overlooked the law. But now but now commanded all men everywhere repent. But now God has commanded everywhere, even in Amar, that all should repent. When the message of the gospel comes to you, and you are convinced that the way you betray it is not the way of the Lord. Then you make a U-turn to the Lord. You shall be saved. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, I give you thanks for your word you spoken unto us. Lord, the grace for these things found tonight to grow and bear fruit worth hundredfold. Let it be released upon the world in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every devourer, every burst that fly, every stony soil. Oh God, may they be subdued tonight in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, to breathe upon your word that it should be a fruit of what hundredfold. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was a very good one. <laughs>
Challenges, that is where God will manifest Himself. Yes, and I so believe tonight that this Almighty God will not disappoint this crowd. Amen. You are great. Yes, you are. Mighty God. You walk upon the sea. You raise the dead. You reign in majesty, my holy God. Everything written about you is great. Everything that is written about God, they are all great. God is a God of multiplication. When he moves, situation changes. You are great, yes, you are. Holy Lord, you walk upon the sea, you raise the dead, you reign in majesty, my mighty God. Everything we think about you is great.
There will be no zero condition here today. Because people are giving their life to Christ tonight. Whether the devil like it or not. Don't talk. He said, if I would not die for his fire, the fire will quench. If I would not die inside fire, the fire go quench. But when you remove firewood from fire, or you put firewood, you got the blower. The fire not go fit quench. Now, wait till the reconciliation. Reconciliation are the way where be say God and man and I won't go to the world home. The God and man is going to agree to work together. Reconciliation and the way when they say man and God when sin don't put enmity between them now the way when God and man go take come together man go become the picking of God man go become an inheritance of the kingdom of God man go stand for front of God one my papa. This one na my papa. Reconciliation. Make we take and enter some things where we see every day for you. If husband and wife get matter and they quarrel for house, they not they listen to each other. Somebody go come come. 
go talk to them. Now they go work. Say I beg now. That you know who? Make on and forget this matter. Oh, it never true. Oh, the Beluda. It go reconcile to them. Mama, I don't know. I didn't call you. I didn't be those in the pinu do. But this one when are they talk so? Get on now. I go on and yash now. God, I be the husband in this case. Chukuku, you are the body in the man. And we, now we be the wife. And the man who are the bungu na ya. God, why not say any meeting day between me and him? Chukuku. Come, no lost way. God, God initiate this reconciliation. What would the person? That's why this world can't get different from the world. Oh, yes, in a bush, or remember, I cannot do so. Tell when two people they quarrel, I will not say, man, I'm going to be not go let one when I do wrong. Look how I be a quarrel. Don't say I do wrong. But for this matter, God not wait for me. God not wait for you. God not wait for that boy. God not wait for that girl. Only God walk the way out. He said, only one thing where we need to do is just to accept the secret of this consolation. The simple way be say it here reconciles. If we accept that condition, then we are reconciled. They will welcome us. And so reconciliation, it is a process by which God and man come together. They walk together from that moment. Why was there separation? Yes, man was separated from God. Because our God is a holy God. Is a sinful man. The two cannot work together. Darkness and light cannot work together. Oh, darkness and light cannot work together. The action of man was all about evil, and all that it signifies is darkness. Darkness covers man. But God said no. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Come. 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 I want you to be my son again. I want you to receive you back again. Don't go away. And God begin to initiate it. There is no mate between our righteousness and the righteousness of God. You cannot compare them at all. But God loves us. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever you that man, you that woman, you that boy, you that girl, whosoever, anybody, you that idol worshiper, We are reconciled. The option is still your own. You either accept it or you leave it. Oh yes, You either embrace it. Never sir. Or you say no. Oh, you see I want to be on my own. Like the issue, my brother raised. That boy. What I can do. One day. Only shot off for what? Imiti papa, imiti mama, he called Pede. I don't know how as life they work out, but you know, say you get money possession. Share the tea, give me my own. From that moment, he made himself the enemy of the house because they share his own and the caregiver. He work out, come on, and begin to live. He begin to enjoy them. Oh, he begin to carry a shabu. He begin to drink with money. Money where he not labor for. Where they shop free money, they sweet way. Well. But if you they shop money and you know they add to the world, when they have the thing is so finished. Reconciliation. Where this begin? Come no say wahala devil this life. Life not be just drinking and smoking.
smoking. Life not be just carrying any type of woman in your life. Life not be shining what cost so that they're not going to feed to you anything. Let me tell you something. There is no cut that can save a man. There is no cut that can save a woman. Recently, just about two weeks ago, a young girl was rushed to my church. What was the problem? Those who found her said they saw her in the express. Misbehaving. And because they know the mother, they grabbed her. Dragged her. They wanted to carry her to the hospital. Because it was like madness. But the mama said no. Carry and go shush. Carry and go shush. When they reach church, I asked this girl, What will be your problem? He said, My mama drive me for a house one night. As I did wrong, go my papa place. Because the mama and the papa they're not there together again. Around 11 o'clock in the night. And the waka go my papa place. Now I see one girl for her. The girl go ask me, say, You did tell she. And I'm I don't not tired. I don't work out where well, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. Say yes, I want to drink water. He say, come make I give you water. Drink. Give you water drink. As she give her the water drink finish, she lose her memory. They drag her into their court where they were meeting. And they begin to give her condition. What she should do to become a member of the court. But because she already know their secret. And she was told on that she is not going to contribute any human being. And one other thing that saved her was that the food they served her that night she did not eat. If she had ate from that food, she would become a full-blown member of the court. And it would be difficult for anybody to deliver her. But she refused to eat. They gave her rice, she refused. They served her meat, she refused. And then they just do society things and say, you go. This is a girl who is doing IT. Not be mumu on a person where they go school. But on that faithful day, because when she does, they come down. When things all really happen, he said the time when she enter vehicle for worry. She knows say she enter vehicle. But when things all happen for Ogara Junction, he not understand. He not understand again. She entered the vehicle in worry with her own cautiousness. But because before she arrived, she was not the same person. Again. God cannot save anybody. Why am I bringing this story? The God cannot save anybody. And I ask, what is the name of that girl? As soon as she mentioned the name of that girl, and you begin to pray with that name, pray for her that anything they give to her, she should vomit. Even that water, she should vomit it out. And she begin to vomit. The father was there. The mother was there. Those that brought her was they were all there. Even some of my reverend, they were there. Everybody saw the magic that was. Oh God, court cannot save somebody. When you enter into a court, you are an enemy to God. When you are serving an idol, you are an enemy to God. You refuse to bow down to God. You are bowing down to an idol. You, are, you made yourself an enemy. Tonight, you can reconcile with God. Tonight, you can reconcile with God. Tonight, you and God can become one again. From the point in time, when you begin to drink the water of God, you are an enemy to God. This boy left his father's house. 
He went to a far country. He was lavishing everything he carried from Baba house. Up to money finish. You don't say money if it finish. No, be Nigeria money don't finish. So they say economy recession. The time of Shagare we hear. Authority, austerity nation. Uh, okay, so we make we tight our belly. Make we take back tighter. But this one, it don't pass tightening of belly. We don't tie the belly so taste tired, tired, tired. They not cause it where we tire. But I know that if we can reconcile with God, if our leaders can reconcile with God, if me and you can reconcile with God. The only person that can save us is Jesus. Jesus. The only one that can save us is Jesus. He has given you the option to reconcile with God. That is his assignment. All you need to do is accept him. When you accept him, even though you are a sinner, whether you be fornicator, one day we they go one service of song. I will carry you one place. They take babu to make the fence na babu, so you feel see through to this side. I also saw some girls that were sitting outside. The way they were dressing, speak aloud about them. I was so inquisitive and I asked, "Which people beyond this one?" He said, "Ah, so you know they this town." He said, "This place on a cash and carry." Cash and carry. Some people will go to that place, give money to any girl. You go carry, you go go. So go go there, buy a drink, go manya, enjoy themselves. Maybe such a place there for my hill. I don't know, but it be like say such a place fit there here. If it be for this community, as my spirit they tell me, be like say that kind place fit there. That's why they feed the smoky bo. And they can't call themselves say they be bobia. And they go they smoke the tin when their eye don't red, they don't know what did happen again. Whether you human being or human being, they not consider that one. But tonight you can reconcile with God. God is calling you. That come and reconcile with me. Through Jesus Christ. God became so angry because the question is Number one. God The judgment of God is coming. Why you must reconcile? God is angry 
with you. With you. Unless you reconcile. If he fed that anger on you. You will not be able to stand. You will never be able to stand. Sometimes you will not even understand what is happening to you. Number two. If you can reconcile with God. Oh he is faithful and just. He is merciful. He will forgive you your sin. He will forgive you that unrighteousness. And so you need to recognize. You need to reconcile. Why will you die? Why somewhere will they see for I go just jump to the verse when they inside. Why he make where okay no why he say. When I will carry her and I take her and draw the shirt when they take cover her head. It look me the eye and not be waiting the fish see. Now I tell her say cover your hair. She says she cover her hair. How? Now she draw her hair for me. See her the hair and I take cover her hair. Many of us when we live here we know they wear trousers. They wear trousers sometimes. But we are here to tell the people of our mind that those type of style of living, that life that you are living, is not what God wants you to live. Can you turn yourself from that evil way and accept Jesus Christ? Many things are happening in the world today. They are using human to make money. I don't know whether they do it here too. But I know say for many places. I preach one day for one place. I can't preach against this thing. When, when I reach house, my phone can't ring. Somebody called a warm inside. He said, I say you preach against us. I said, so you be one of them. Who you be? Say that son, I go do it for I go die now. They go say I don't do anything. The problem is that the verses now me just they cool them. Now me be their treasurer. I just they cool them if not they for dog carry you for where you do so. I say I beg, I won't see you. Come, I won't see you. I won't see you come. He said, just 
fast small money come and take battery for the same that is your duty. Come. Okay. I won't see you make we talk. I won't know who I won't give money. Oh, see, there is a catcher, my mother go, Konya, young, then no good shot of a money people. So they see the fear. They are the fear. They are not hungry. Come. Oh, they know. Till today. But look at that. I say, come, come. I won't see you. I won't know who you are. Yeah, come, Malone, you boy. Till today, no good come. But look at that. And those two who never ate a good season, I won't be talking. Oh, you never have no two seasons. Now, lie. Anything you are doing that is against the will of God. You are an enemy to him. You need to repent. And reconcile with him. When you reconcile with God, your life will be better than the one you are living now. Just try this, our God. Number 14. If we reconcile with God, we have the hope of eternal life. If we reconcile with God, why we need to reconcile? If we reconcile with Him, we have the hope of eternal life. Many of us who are wearing white here now, to an extent we have reconciled with our God. Why are you just listening? You will walk to this arena. Take your seat tonight. And all these people that are surrounding you, we pray for you. If they pray for you tonight, if nothing happen in your life, another day you see a member of this group called APS. Ask her why anything not happen in your life. If all these people can pray for you. Who be the lucky person here? The first person is so lucky. The first boy. The first girl. The first man. The first woman. Is going to be the luckiest person. Who can come to the arena. And take the seat tonight. Not let anybody get your front row. Run if you are coming. Don't let anybody force you.
go sing that chorus again. You are great. Yes, you are. Oh. Whenever you come to Christ, Lord, your case is different. To, tonight is an opportunity. Know whether this opportunity will come to you. Again. Who knows whether you will hear this voice again? Am I here? Am I here? The first time I reached Am I? Was when my retired venerable was doing his thanksgiving after his ordination as a dicky. 
we came. That was the first time I came to Amai. The second time I passed Amai was when the APS National Holy Crusade at Kwane. I have to pass through this side. And today is the third time that I Maybe it is for your sake. Maybe it is for your sake. The Lord has already shown that it was going to look like this. But as a human being, when I came and I arrived here around 5 o'clock, when I look at the area, I said, God, we can't pray How the thing will look like now? But God said, don't worry, my son. I have a purpose for this to say. I'm not sending FK to am I for something? Something must happen here. My heart became stronger when I saw my president behind me. As I was walking from my car to the platform, I saw three of them discussing. That time, the light never realized. When I greeted myself, no be so. <laughs> I understand I don't work But I know that with two, three of them behind me today. God is going to do something. Look at this man of God. Just one person remaining. Are you the one? Don't waste time. Come now. This night is an Come to Jesus.
Junction. We want to call on our daddy. Okay, now you not talk about Nalani. Our daddy that brought us here. Nalani, you never say Nani. Obana. He is the national president. Yeah, but the champion in the APS Nigeria. Of APS Nigeria. The word sin so far. If I talk at a sin talk. The word sin so far. In talk a can talk. Is to underrate God. Yeah, but when she don't kick it to go on. Is to believe that God cannot do anything. Oh, what is it? I told our daddy. The venerable that uh, uh, represented our Lord Bishop. And That uh, why must you people bring us here? When the town is open. I said uh, here would have been an accommodation. Then the arena ought to be in the town. He laughed. And said, we, you don't have to underrate God. He said, don't be troubled. That I bought this place. He said, you will see what God will do tonight. I don't know whether he is here. Okay, he said, you will see what God will do tonight. And he said, what God is going to do tonight is even going to do more after we have left. When he said that, I looked at him. There was a kind of joy in my heart. Yes, yes. He, 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 he is the man that he, he is the prophet of tonight. The man that gave the prophecy. When he had not seen what is going to happen. He prophesied about it before And my heart immediately was filled. And I became satisfied. I bowed down my head. I said, God, I have sinned against you. Right here, I'm confessing my sin. I said, God, I sinned against you. For thinking that this place is bush and that you cannot bring people here. Forgive me. I said I have I have shouted on so many because of the arena alone I saw. I never wanted to listen to anybody. Even when I, 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 our head of engineering was trying to explain to me, I said, "Don't explain anything to me." Okay, and he has started this work. You coming out to sit. If you, if you 
It is not by your power. It is because Christ loves you. It is because God loves you. He created you. And He wants you to be by tomorrow. I will be with them at so if I do not bless you tonight you may not see me again see some of us here again before the end of the crucifixion so you are lucky that God has brought you here tonight I am telling you categorically that Christ Jesus that calls you and that you have come to is able to do all things unto your joy he shall heal you tonight he shall heal your finances tonight he shall heal your wounds tonight. So we are going to pray. I assure you that anyone that has come here with one form of sickness or the other is not going to live here with that sickness tonight but shall live here fully healed and restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, you are Lord. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Maker of the universe. The only Creator that is never created by any man. You are the King of Kings, Jesus, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Prince of Peace, the Mighty Father, the Everlasting Father, the Doctor of Doctors, the Professor of Professors, the Lawyer of Lawyers, the Judge of the Judges, the Mighty God, the King of Glory. Take your place tonight in this crusade. Take your place in the lives of your children. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I spread out your healing that everyone here that is sick, oh God, everyone here that is poisoned by enemies, everyone here that is in pain, everyone here that is seeking the blessing of the fruit of the womb, that everyone here that is in a financial mess, indebtedness. Heavenly Father, I told your people that, look, everywhere in Nigeria, people are saying things are difficult, things are hard, because they are under the government of Buhari. I said, but you, your children, we are not under the government of Buhari. We are under the government of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one that reigns without end. The King of Kings. The Prince of Prince. The everlasting Father. The only God that is. The one that created. Oh God. What is that sickness that is in you? What is that problem that you are facing? That is caused by man or by devil? What is that that is troubling your heart right now? All that you feel now 
are done under the power of the laws and covenants. But my Lord Jesus Christ tells me, and to the face of laws and covenant, that he, I, even I, I am the Lord of the laws and covenant. Hallelujah. That Jesus Christ is the Lord of the Lord and covenant by which any sickness that is in you has come to you. By which any trouble in your home, in your finances, in your marriage, in your family has come upon you. The Lord of them all is the one that is here. I invite him into your life right now. I invite the Lord, even of the Lords and Covenant, into your body right now, into your homes right now, into your marriage right now. Are you a girl? that is up to marriageable age and you are not yet married, whatever is stopping you, whether the, the condition of this time or some powers and forces, I tell you that the one that is here tonight is the Lord of all and is come into your life tonight. That that power, that condition that is stopping your marriage tonight, I set it quit in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord of all is right now in your body, moving into your body right now. No sickness can strive with him. No can strive with him as he moves into your body. Every pain in you die off in Jesus' name. As he moves into your body, every poison in you quench in the name of Jesus. As he moves into you, every sickness in you die off in the name of Jesus. Call it malaria. Call it typhoid. Yes, Call it diabetes. Yes, Call it high blood pressure. Yes, Call it a prostate problem. Yes, Call it pneumonia. Yes, Call it headache. Yes, Call it sore in the leg. Yes, Call it any problem. Yes, every problem yes, to the face of man yes, that without oppression, yes, that sickness will not leave you. Yes, Tonight, I admit you into the clinic of our Lord Jesus. That operation be performed in you right now. Where you are now. As you close your eyes. Oh God. Focusing on Jesus Christ. Peter told him. Say just look at me. Gold and silver. I have none. What I have, I shall give to you right now. Just focus on me. As you focus on Jesus, closing your eyes to the world and focusing on Jesus. Let that oppression that will take that sickness away from your body occur to you right now in a twinkle of an eye in the name of Jesus Christ. Every problem abnormalities, pains, sickness, poison in your life. I get it out of you in the name of Jesus. If you feel any pain, any sign of inconveniences in your head, that sickness in the head, 
I command you to leave the hair. That sickness in your eyes, I command you to leave the eye. That sickness in your ear, I command you to leave the ear. That sickness in your chest, your thoracic region, I command you to leave the thoracic region. That sickness in your heart, oh my God, the malfunctioning in your heart, the weakness in your heart, the enlargement of the heart, the smallness of the heart, I command you to leave the heart right now. Every blockade in your lungs, in your liver, wherever, spleen, in the name of Jesus, I open them up. Every sickness in that region, I command them to leave. In the name of Jesus. That sickness in your tummy, in your stomach, in your intestines, that sickness in your kidney, right now, pack your load, leave them in the name of Jesus. Every sickness and pain in your joints, the joints of your body, your legs, the leg joints, the hand joints, the, the, the spinal bones, oh God, even the brain. I command that sickness, that poison, that pain to leave you right now. For Jesus is here. Every sickness that is moving about in your body, in the name of Jesus Christ, I, I arrest that sickness. Yeah. I arrest that movement. Yeah. And I send them out of you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Let there be healing in your blood. Yeah. Let there be healing in the water in your body. Yeah. Let there be healing everywhere, all over your body. Yeah. Anyone that is sick, both the crusaders and those that have come, especially these that have given their lives unto Christ. Let there be mass healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, I glorify your holiness because you have done it. Yes, the Lord has healed many. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that should there be anyone seeking the blessings of the fruit of the womb. Should there be anyone whose daughter, oh God, and whose son is seeking the blessings of the fruit of the womb. So long as he, the father, the mother, or the sister, or the brother is here, or that person is here, let them receive the blessing that they so seek in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless your children with the children from your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. I open every block womb in the name of Jesus. I open every block tube in the name of Jesus. I make your semen highly fertile in the name of Jesus. I make your eggs highly fertile in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I lift your breath against every power that stands against your children's finances. Oh God, we have come here, spent a lot of money. If your children are not doing well, how will they go to propagate the gospel? And so, Father, I release your power. Amen. I release the breath of Jesus. Amen. Every power that stands against your progress, Please. every power that stands against your business, every power that stands against your finances, being it from your family, being it from outside your family, being it from around you, I lift the, the breath of Jesus against that power. I crush that power and I squash that power in the name of Jesus Christ. I release unto you the blessings of the Lord that make it rich in the name of Jesus. That divine favor shall be your portion. The Lord, oh God, release his blessings upon you. As you leave this crusade, you shall have cause to glorify God. In the name of Jesus Christ. The heaven is 
is open unto you right now. And you shall be blessed. And you shall be blessed. You shall share this testimony with others. That as we return from the crusade, oh, I have been blessed. Oh, see money. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Father, King of glory, whatever is troubling the hearts of your people, that which is troubling your heart, I lift the word of Jesus Christ that says that that heavy load, that body in your heart, bring it unto me and I will carry it from you. I will give you my own. My own is very light. And now, hidden that call, that body in your heart, I lift it out of you in the name of Jesus. I give it unto Jesus. I exchange the body of Jesus. The yoke of Jesus. I exchange it with that your own. Take that light yoke of Jesus Christ. And your heavy yoke lifts you now. Live your life now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful blessing tonight. Thank you for this crusade. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you for what you have used your son that made the utter call to do. Thank you for everyone that sang and danced. Thank you for everyone that has come to this arena. Thank you for the fair weather. Thank you for all. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Just briefly, you actually repented and converted. So because you have come to this crusade today, uh, well, we have nothing to do but what we shall do. If I need a I don't know whether you pay transport fare down, but if you if you do, we are going to be responsible for your transport back home. So we are we are one now. If you have any problem, call any of them, the ones that you have the phone. I is laying his hand upon me that I will spread my stretch my hands towards them. That the anointing in us will move and be upon them. And that anointing shall solve their problem. That anointing shall heal them. That anointing shall lift them from financial problem. That anointing shall keep and protect them. And so, Father, we pray for this our brethren who gave their lives unto you at a crusade organized by Warizon. And so, Father, you call these people to yourself. And you call them. And they never hesitate. They came to you and they promised that they shall preach your gospel. This is a living evidence that they have heeded your call. Now that they have come, Father, if anyone is sick yet, let that person receive healing. Amen. That he will be able to propagate the gospel. Amen. Father, if anyone has more problem or the other, right now, even at home, Father, we cancel that problem from their life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we pray 
for them as we stretch our hands toward them. We are laying our hands upon them that the anointing of the blessing of God Oh God, we fall upon them in Jesus' name. That they will receive anointing upon anointing. Oh, they will receive financial anointing. They will receive anointing of good health. They will receive anointing of happiness and progress. They will receive healing anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as they live here, Father, let their life change for the better in Jesus' name. That they will know and give testimony that since that crusade, where all the crusaders prayed for us, oh, my life has changed. Everything is going well with me. Let it be well with them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Want to also thank the school authority. And you know, the school principal to use this place. Kakabo, above all, and you know, can also have a child. Want to thank you again. I know, can you know the new converts in the Pusana? Without you, I will not show up. Our coming to our mind would have been a waste. All right, and I can't do the Kashan Arukuman. But God, who is faithful, to Queen, you born in a Koku, may you look who is always faithful, born in a Kuni or Melau, has brought you to his Yahweh yeah, Pusana. No, no, on another Sasson, no, no, so it's a great privilege. If I had to my couple, this opportunity does not come often. Almost okay, come out on a way or the logic up for some and other suggestions. We want to thank God for allowing you to be partakers. I am making it to cool me for many women. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow and Sunday. She ate you in your bottle car. Shall you come for some? I am a cushy to cool them. Come on, come down or carry my car. We should be best. We want to thank the APS members who have spent time to come from their various homes to make this crusade a success. The Bible says, Venerable Evumedia, Evumedia, to give us the closing prayer. And we want to, before you come, we want to thank our host church and our host pastor, our host bishop, signing us to come to their church. We want to thank the whole of my community for agreeing that we should come. If they are not agreed, we should have come. So that you have to you. Let us rise for the closing prayer. Ogana wali yeluwe, Ogana wali. those who preach and those who do the altar call. Lord, we are grateful for the miracle that you have performed in this community. Lord, we are grateful. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that in any area that we have seen this evening, 
may you forgive us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, as we are going to our respective places, we pray that you should guide us, protect us from all the danger of tonight. Also pray for tomorrow programs. Holy Spirit divine, take absolute control. At the end of everything, we all will shout hallelujah and the glory will be us. Dismiss us with your blessing. Thank you, Father. For we pray in Jesus' name. Let's say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you.